Hello, I'm Daniel Zilber, and this is an unauthorized underground intro. When you tune into TCM Underground, you typically don't expect a movie by an Oscar-nominated director with several major hits on their resume. But a few years prior to directing 1974's The Crazy World of Julius Bruder, Arthur Hiller directed the biggest hit of his career, Love Story, and would go on to direct the comedies Silver Streak and The In-Laws. The Crazy World of Julius Bruder is an offbeat mix of comedy, romance, and social commentary. Timothy Bottoms, who had recently starred in The Last Picture Show and The Paper Chase, is Julius Bruder, a happy-go-lucky Vietnam veteran being treated at a military psychiatric hospital. He frequently escapes the hospital to spend time in his booby-trapped underground bunker, and, in an odd subplot, he's being pursued by both the telephone and electric companies. Barbara Hershey co-stars as a nurse at the hospital and Bruder's love interest. At the time, Hershey had changed her name to Barbara Siegel to honor an actual seagull she accidentally killed while working on a previous film. Her career suffered, and she changed it back to Hershey a couple of years later. Michael Christopher has a small role as Alicini, the friend of Bruder's at the hospital. He went on to write 1977's Pulitzer and Tony Award-winning play The Shadow Box, and you may recognize him as E-Corp CEO Philip Price from the TV series Mr. Robot. But the most interesting piece of casting is Golden Age Hollywood director George Marshall playing Bruder's octogenarian friend Corky. If you get most of your classic movies from TCM, you might not be familiar with Marshall. His directing career began in the silent era and stretched into the 1970s, but he primarily worked for Fox, Universal, and Paramount, studios that aren't part of TCM's core catalog. He's probably best known for 1939's Destry Rides Again with Jimmy Stewart and Marlena Dietrich. This would be Marshall's final film. Now, as far as I can tell, this movie has never been released on home video and is not on any streaming services, making it a pretty rare showing. And while its odd tone may not be for everyone, it's certainly worth watching. And now, produced by THE Hugh Hefner, 1974's The Crazy World of Julius Bruder.